the lion was born in 1564 in Italy. 1589, 25 year old, he became the professor of mathematics at University of Pisa. One year later, 1590, a 26 year old man, 26 year old Galileo, did a famous experiment. He dropped two spear from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. A 26 year old, 1590. To demonstrate that, to demonstrate one simple thing, to demonstrate that the turn of descent independent of their masses, that the heavy object and the light object fall at the same rate, touching the ground at the same time, making Aristotle incorrect some 1900 years later. Today we're going to use those data collected by the earlier 1590 from drafting the twin spear to draw displacement versus time grab, distance versus time grab, velocity versus time grab, speed versus time grab, acceleration versus time grab, and magnitude of acceleration versus time grab. So let's dive in. So Galileo experiment lasted for three seconds. So we're going to do exactly the same thing Galileo did 1590 from the Leaning Tower of Pisa at University of Pisa, Italy. So let's draw a table. First we're going to find the displacement. We're going to find the displacement by using half gt square. And then we're going to find the distance. And remember the distance is the magnitude of the displacement. And we're going to find the velocity. Velocity final is equal to velocity initial plus gt. This equation I also proved in the classroom. And then acceleration. Uh, before we do that, we are going to do the speed. Okay, the magnitude, the speed is the magnitude of velocity. Okay, and then we're going to find the acceleration, acceleration due to gravity, and then we're going to find the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity. First, we're going to do the zero second, then we're going to do one second, then we're going to do the two second, then finally we're going to do the three second. And at the end, we're going to draw the graph. So this is our goal today. So at zero second, how much the, the speed displaced? If you plug zero in the formula, you're going to get zero. So zero squared is going to give you zero. So zero displacement. The magnitude of zero is of course zero. The velocity, this formula, if you use this formula to calculate the velocity at the zero second, you're also going to get zero. So when you drop something, the initial velocity of, is zero. So initial velocity is zero when you drop something. So you can, you can let it to zero. So if you plug in zero over here, velocity is zero. The magnitude of zero is of course zero. Now here comes the acceleration. Acceleration due to gravity, even at zero second, is negative 9.8. Acceleration due to gravity, acceleration due to gravity is the same regardless you dead or alive, you sleeping or you are awake, you dancing, you laughing, you jumping, you falling. What is the acceleration due to gravity here on this? 9.8, negative 9.8 meter per second every second. What is the acceleration due to gravity if I put it, if I hide it under the table? It's still negative 9.8 meter per second every second. So acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meter per second every second, no matter what. This is a constant. Okay. And the absolute value of negative 9.8, which is the magnitude of acceleration due to gravity, is 9.8. Now at the one second, so 
if we remove 0 and put 1, then we're going to get 4.9. So 4.9. But don't forget to put negative. Okay. So the magnitude, distance is the magnitude of displacement. So what is the magnitude of this negative 4.9? Is 4.9. Velocity. So velocity, if you put Vf is equal to g, which is negative 9.8, and time is 1, so you get negative 9.8. So negative 9.8. Absolute value of negative 9.8 is, of course, 9.8. Okay, acceleration due to gravity is still 9, negative 9.8. Acceleration due to gravity is still negative 9.8. So negative 9.8. Negative 9.8. Okay. So then the absolute value, absolute value or magnitude of negative 9.8 is just 9.8. Okay. Number two. At two second, you plug in two and you get negative 19.6. Absolute value of negative 19.6 is simply 19.6 meters. If you put 2 seconds over here, over here, if you put 2 seconds over here, you get, you get 19.6. So it's going to be negative 19.6. Okay? Negative 19.6. And absolute value of negative 19.6 is just 19.6. And this one, the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8. And absolute value of negative 9.8 is 9.8. Okay. At 3 seconds, so you put 3 over here, and you get, if you calculate it, you get negative 44.1. Absolute value of negative 44.1 is the distance, which is 44.1. At 3 seconds, what is the velocity at 3 seconds? So this is negative 29.4. So 29.4. Absolute value of 29.4 is just 29.4. Acceleration due to gravity at the end of 3 seconds is same. So 9.8. And magnitude of acceleration due to gravity is all. So this data collected from the Galileo dropping a spear from the Leaning Tower at University of Pisa in 1590, 26 year old Galileo. So as you see that, a few things you see. First we're gonna draw it. We're gonna draw the first we're gonna draw the DT gap. So Let's draw the dt gap, and before we do that, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, let's draw the distance versus time gap. So, I'm gonna write one, two, total six graph we're gonna do, three, and then I'm gonna do this one, gonna be one, two, three. All together six. Okay, the x axis we always gonna call it t. The y axis we gonna call different thing at different time. So we're gonna call this one is displacement. So this one is displacement, so we're gonna call this one is displacement. Okay? This one is a velocity, so we're gonna call it velocity. This one is acceleration, so you're going to call it acceleration. Okay. So displacement, velocity, acceleration. What is the magnitude of displacement? Is distance, so you're going to call it distance. What is the magnitude of velocity? Speed, so you're going to call it speed. What is the magnitude of acceleration due to gravity? It's just magnitude or absolute value. Okay. All right, so let's pass to this one. So it's 0 comma 0, so 0 comma 0 is right here, right here. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the, the rate. So 0 comma 0, 
So you have three seconds. One, two, three. Three seconds. And you have, all right, so you have like, this graph would be like this. Like this. Okay. If you, if you plot this graph, this graph would be like this. A curve. A quadratic function. Uh, next time we're going to talk about the quadratic function. Quadratic function uh, first invented by Brahma Gupta 700 in India and then it was solved by Kaurismi. Uh, Kaurismi in Baghdad 900, 900 AD. So, and then Galileo realized that 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 the, the projectile motion creates parabola which is quadratic in nature and then he um, he deduced that it is d is equal to half a t square by using the mathematics created by some of them created by Brahma Gupta and Al Khwarizmi. Of course, I'm going to prove that in next class. Okay. Now velocity versus time gap. Now, well, how are we going to do velocity versus time gap? So this is also going to be in fourth quadrant. So the slope of this one would be uh, negative. And it's going to be, this one is going to be linear decreasing diagonal line starting from zero. Linear decreasing diagonal line starting from zero. Okay. So, this is the slope of this one. Alright, so acceleration due to gravity is, we know that, so this is a problem, this is not correct because the time cannot be negative. So be careful, it's a step from zero. Okay? Time cannot be negative, we cannot go back to time. So it's a step from zero. So this is negative 9.8. Okay? So this is the slope of this one. We're going to call it a horizontal line below the x-axis. We're going to call it diagonal line, linear decreasing diagonal line starting from zero. Okay, now, if we take the absolute value of this one, absolute value of this one, what do we get? We get this. If we take the absolute value of this one, what do we get? We get the speed. This. If we take the absolute value of this one, what do we get? We get the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, now we're going to write the equation. First we're going to write using the math and then we're going to write using the physics. Alright, so let's start with the math. Uh, let's start using the math. So now this is going to be y is equal to let's see uh, so y is equal to negative a x squared, okay? And this is y is equal to ne negative m x plus b, and b is zero. And this is y is equal to negative c. This is y is equal to a x squared. And second degree polynomial, ax squared plus bx plus c. b is 0 and c is 0. Why b is 0, c is 0? I'll prove that next class. Speed is y equal to mx plus b. And b, the, and the b is 0. And this is y equal to c. Okay, now we're going to write the math. Uh, the physics. Okay, so this is d is equal to half g t square. Okay, that means a must be 4.9 or this value is negative 4.9. Okay, which I'll prove it next time. Amazing. This one second degree polynomial was invented by Brahma Gupta and it was uh, 
it was kind of solved by al khwarizmi the father of algebra all of a sudden used by galileo figuring out that hey the math created by Brahma Gupta in India 700 and Khawarizmi in Baghdad 900 all of a sudden become useful because it can be represented to explain the natural phenomena like dropping dropping a spear from Lenin Tower 1590. This one is VF is equal to VI plus gt okay bi plus gt all right vi is is zero as b is zero bi is zero is because when you drop something va is zero and this is this is um x this is a number so z is negative 9.8 so this is d is equal to absolute value of this one so absolute value of this one absolute value of this one would be d is equal to d is equal to half z t squared and absolute value of this one would be vf is equal to vi plus gt and absolute value of this one is g is equal to 9.8 next class i'm going to prove the how Galileo 1590 used some of the math created earlier by Brahma Gupta and Al Khwarizmi used to model the behavior of falling body.